You're listening to the Nash Rocket Media Experiment. Planning a visit to Music City? Be sure to check out the Daily Nash with Nash Rocket. Hey, don't get all upset and everything. That smell you're hearing is just my bacon burning. Man, I swear I would never make it as a short order cook at the IHOP. <laughs> Although I secretly yearn to do that. It is I, Sam Wong, Nash Rocket, the unofficial blue haired digital mayor of Music City, and it's Monday. And I have great news to share with you about Mondays. It's, it's fabulous around here on Mondays because of one little thing which I'll get to in a half a second. Iron Maiden in town tonight at Bridgestone Arena Legacy of the Beast Tour 19. Man, that is some kind of crazy, scary graphic. Iron Maiden. Uh. <laughs> also, Brittany Howard at the Ryman tonight. Uh, and coming up later this week, Thursday, at the Ryman is Common. I like that guy. Uh, that's Thursday night at the Ryman. Widespread Panic is in town this weekend for three dates on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at the Ryman. Uh, Grand Ole Opry is dark tonight, uh, as well as Ascend Amphitheater. Now, let me tell you about Monday. Monday is super cool in Nashville. And let me tell you why. The hottest venue to play for a singer-songwriter in this town is the Bluebird Cafe. You might have seen it on, on television uh, with the TV series Nashville. You know, they kind of blew that place up. All right, but it's a, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a sweet little unassuming cafe in a strip mall, for crying out loud. I think there are about 99 seats in there, maybe. Good food, good drink. It's a great place to go hear singer-songwriters in Nashville. And everybody makes an appearance in there at, at some point in time. Now, when I say everybody, I mean Taylor Swift and Keith Urban. And, and I've been there when, when Steven Tyler was there, just kind of dropped in to see somebody he knew, and so he sat in for a couple. A Sugarland was there, you know, uh, Vince Gill. You know, everybody turns up at the Bluebird for no reason because it's just the place to be. Now then, here's the good news about Monday. On Monday nights, it's an open mic night, right? So if you're coming, if you're a performer, or you're here in town and visiting, and you would like to play at the Bluebird. And let me just tell you, I don't know whether you'll be discovered or not. That depends on your talent and ability and who's in the audience. But I will say this. It doesn't hurt to have the Bluebird Cafe on your resume, right? It's an awesome place because the people who are there, the audience members, are there for one reason. They want to soak up. They want to take a bath. They want to bathe in the talent that the singer-songwriter has on that particular night. It's absolutely fabulous. Now, here's what you have to do to get on Monday night open mic night. First of all, you have to understand that anyone is eligible to play at open mic as long as your material is yours and it's original. It's a perfect uh, place to try out new material. It's a perfect place to meet other writers, becoming part of the songwriting community here in Nashville, and polishing up your performing skills. Now, here's how you get signed up. You have to call on Monday morning between 11 and 12. All right, I'll put the number up on the screen. It's 615-943-8168. And you have to call uh, between 11 a.m. and 12 noon Central to be able to perform tonight. All right? You can't say, oh, I'd like to perform three Monday nights from tonight. No, no, no. That's not how it works. It's for tonight. It's for the Monday that you call. Now, it's a mad dash. They take 25 slots, and you can play one to two songs, right? 
and it's a mad dash during that hour. It, you're probably going to be, get a busy signal. You just keep calling back and keep calling back and keep calling back. And once you get through, uh, if they've not reached their quota yet of 25 songwriters, you get to perform tonight at the Bluebird. Man, that's exciting. And here's something even more exciting. Guess what? It's free to the public, right? Now, you have to understand that the Bluebird is famous for having lines literally around the block for hours just to get in for the early show, which I think goes at 5.30 or something like that, right? And then there's another huge line for the late show, 9 o'clock or whatever. I mean, it's crazy, but, and it, you know, it's, there's no cover, there, there's not a minimum or anything on Monday nights. It's, it's, it's open mic, and they pass that savings along to the patrons. So there you are. That's your Monday. If you're in Nashville, whether you're a, an audience member and want to see some up-and-coming stars, or you're a picker and a grinner and want to be an up-and-coming star, Check it out. That's how you do it. Hey, thank you for listening to Nash Rocket and the Daily Nash. Please subscribe to this podcast and this YouTube channel. It would be much appreciated. I'm out. Thank you for listening to the Daily Nash with Nash Rocket. Please subscribe and ring the bell so you'll be notified when there's new content. So baby, don't me with the